that the Ulysses 1994 XF-04 asteroid would impact the Earth was announced to the world in April of 1996. Its unique, largely hollow makeup all but guaranteed that upon entering Earth's atmosphere, the asteroid would shatter into thousands of fragments and bombard the world with the force of two million nuclear warheads. The date of impact would be July 3rd, 1999, thereafter forever known as Ulysses Day. The continents of Eusea and Ania were predicted to suffer the greatest damage, and their respective nations led the defense effort. Many projects were proposed and many built, but only one would engage Ulysses directly. Today, human civilization still exists in the areas that found themselves on the wrong side of the world, solely because of the Space Guard turret network, better known as Stonehenge. Resembling the ancient prehistoric monument from which it drew its name, the Space Guard turret network consisted of eight sectors arranged in a circular formation, each housing a single railgun turret. Officially designated 120cm anti-air and surface gunpowder and electromagnetic hybrid acceleration-based semi-automatic fixed gun system, the turrets were in fact not true railguns, but rather electromagnetic launchers due to the combination of the propellants it utilized. This hybrid design was selected to prevent excess heat from warping the barrels, an absolute necessity as its projectiles were to be launched at a velocity of 6 kilometers a second, roughly 18 times the speed of sound. Control of the turrets was directed by a synthesized network located underground beneath the main circular ring. It housed 8,192 supercomputers, split into 1,024 sets of eight each capable of performing 9 billion floating-point arithmetic operations per second. Together, Stonehenge as a whole was capable of 100 trillion operations per second, based on data collected from orbiting satellites, planetary observatories, weather models, and other methods of obtaining information on atmospheric conditions. In the event this control network failed, each cannon also had a range table although its ability to intercept asteroids without a computerized fire control system was negligible. With each turret in operation, Stonehenge had an effective range of 1,200 kilometers, spanning from Arugia's capital of Farbanti on the western coast of Usia to the Faith Park Gorge in the east. It could fire a wide array of specially designed ammunition, though the use of several types was restricted, except in special cases under international treaties. Rumors have continued to circulate that the design and construction of Stonehenge was underway well before Ulysses was announced to the public, and potentially even before the asteroid was discovered. The selection of the Hatties Desert as the site of its construction drew protests across the historically neutral country of San Silvassian, due to both the region's cultural background and fears of an international military presence. A human ring around the proposed site was briefly formed before the protests were disbanded. The development of Stonehenge was amongst the largest engineering projects ever attempted, requiring a central executive committee with over 28 different design departments. It was a true international effort, involving not only the nations of Usia, but dozens across the world. The main site was completed in June of 1998, though the railguns would be delivered only gradually throughout the next few months. The first test firing occurred in September that same year, the triumph of the project's completion was somewhat tarnished when updated impact models revealed that Ulysses fragments would strike a much larger area than had first been estimated. These included many areas on the neighboring continent of Ania, while outside the range of Stonehenge. Additionally, a planned orbital laser system had been destroyed in the Eusean coup d'etat, leaving the Stonehenge as the only operational defense. On July 3, 1999, the Space Guard turret network commenced operations against Ulysses, intercepting thousands of fragments over the following weeks. Though the network performed flawlessly, it could not prevent every impact. 500,000 people were killed across Usia, with even one of the railguns itself disabled by a nearby asteroid strike. A mass extinction across the continent, however, had been prevented. The geopolitical fallout from the impacts transformed Stonehenge from a planetary defense system into the most important strategic weapon in the world. 
in the summer of 2003. Amidst the worsening refugee crisis and accelerating tensions on Usia, the Federal Republic of Arusha invaded San Silvassian and took control of the turret network. Its seizure would mark the start of the Continental War between Arusha and the independent state allied forces. With control of Stonehenge, Arusha was able to erase allied air power across the continent and cover the advance of its armies. Combat losses to Stonehenge were so severe that Allied planners were forced to concede that any counterattack on the continent would be impossible until the railguns were disabled or destroyed. Early attacks by veteran ISAF squadrons and special forces on Stonehenge were all countered, but the escape of several engineers who worked on the project from Arusian detention revealed critical insights into the network's vulnerabilities. On April 2nd, 2005, ISAF launched Operation Stone Crusher, which successfully disabled the seven remaining railgun turrets. The outcome of the operation was widely credited to ISAF pilot Mobius One, who would end the war as one of the most legendary aces in military history. The destruction of Stonehenge was immediately recognized as the turning point of the conflict, and Arusha surrendered less than six months later. For 15 years, Stonehenge was left abandoned in the desert, until it unexpectedly became of critical importance during the Lighthouse War of 2019. In much the same way in which it had first seized control of Stonehenge, Arusha had taken control of two Ocean aerial arsenal ships, known as the Arsenal Birds, and used them to pursue a war against Osea itself. Protected by powerful energy shields that made them impervious to every conventional weapon, the Ocean Army undertook a secret program to repair the last remaining Stonehenge railgun disabled by Ulysses some two decades earlier. In a dangerous and risky operation, the Arsenal Bird was lured into Stonehenge's airspace and the railgun fired manually. Such was the power of Stonehenge that this single shot destroyed the most advanced military aircraft in the world, shattering its supposedly impervious shields. Its firing, however, also destroyed the aging turret, ensuring its shot against the Arsenal Bird would be its last. Stonehenge has once again been reduced to a rusting ruin in the desert, but its importance to the world will never be forgotten. Millions of lives are owed to Stonehenge, and hundreds of thousands were claimed in the wars to control it. Perhaps some redemption might be found in the fact that while the first shots it fired at rival nations ignited a war, its final shot ended one. Because of this, Stonehenge might have even more power now than it did while in operation. It can finally live up to its namesake, becoming a monument to what can be achieved and a warning for what must be avoided for the sake of peace. Cheers. <laughs>